Hey everybody, it's Brandon Soriano here in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars for an all new episode of Guitar of the Day, and it's Flat Top Friday, baby! Woo! No, <laughs> she doesn't woo anymore! She's always woo! woo. People don't woo. like it, and then people do, so I'm like, Do you I don't like know. the woos or not? Let us know in the comments <laughs> down below. Uh, it's Flat Top Friday here, and uh, if you've been keeping up with the channel in the last uh, week or so, we're actually not in the shop right now. It's the last week of April 2022. We're taking the week off, uh, resetting. Jen's been out of town. Uh, she's here right now, but she will be out of town. <laughs> so these are all pre-recorded episodes, uh, but we're keeping it up for you guys trying to hustle and get all these shot before we leave. Um, I personally am kicking it in Hawaii, so okay, it's a good time. Not right now. I will be. I'll be there. I'll be there. We got a cool guitar today. It's a 1941 Gibson J55. Wow. I know, dude. Wow. Really, really cool guitar. Really great history, and it's gorgeous. It sounds really great. We just got this in at the time of recording. Uh, literally this morning this came in the shop, and I just really wanted to do it because of how cool it is. So a little bit of history, uh, real quick overview of, of this guitar, sort of for the time period. Dreadnought sized guitars, uh, which were still at the time referred to as jumbo guitars, were relatively new at the time. Um, so Martin and Ditson started making like the D1 and the D2. Um, I want to say late 1920s, early, early 1930s. And Gibson followed suit in 1934 with their jumbo model. Now the jumbo guitar, which we featured one of recently as well with Michael, um, sprouted off into all these other models. There's the J35, the J45, the J50, and the J55. The J55 is the one that I've personally seen the least of. It's a, a really hard guitar to find. Um, reason being, they only ever made about 400 J55s of the originals. So they were making these guitars from 1939 to 1944. This one is smack in the middle at 1941, and 41 is actually kind of a pivotal year for this model. So the J55 is most similar to the J35 in terms of its bracing and all that kind of stuff, but it's spruced up, sort of like a higher end alternative to the J35. Whereas the 45 and the 50 um, have their own sort of bracing going on. Those are actually the same guitar, just one of them is a natural top and the other one is finished. So the J55 used to have the mustache bridge, that really fancy mustache bridge, and in 1941, this year, they changed over to what's called the bat wing bridge. This is important because it also moved over from having two of these dots to having three of these dots, and underneath the dots is actually where they put screws that are mounting the bridge to the guitar. So in 41, like this one, we've got a bat wing bridge with three uh, three of the dots on there. I really like the look of this bridge. I think it's pretty cool. Just a little chunk of rosewood there. Um, fire stripe pit guard, super cool. This one is interesting because on this model we get binding on the fingerboard, which I love the look of on an old acoustic. I feel like you don't see that all that often. Of course there's binding on the sides. You're gonna get a spruce top with mahogany back and sides. Um, a really just killer setup, kind of a classic combination, mahogany and spruce. Um, you've got your dot inlays, you've got your classic Gibson headstock over there, and we've got open back geared Grover tuners on the back. Um, so, you know, the guitar has gone through iterations over the years, and uh, this one is just a special one. It sounds really good. It's had a couple of things, a little crack right there. Um, like I said, we just got this in, so if there are any open cracks or anything, we're gonna have Masa work on it, but as it stands now, feels great, and it plays great, and it sounds great, and we haven't even really worked on it yet. Just literally came in a couple hours ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this one for you. We're gonna keep it back here in the, oh, thanks, Jen. Look at that. Guitar holding service. That's me. That's Jen. That's what she's known for. We're gonna go ahead and keep it back here today. The acoustics actually sound really nice in this back little area here. I like it a lot. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a finger picking thing, something like sort of melodic and slower and quieter, and then we'll hit it with a pick, and you can really hear the dynamic range of this guitar. It's pretty wild, the sounds that you can get out of it. So here's the first one. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
really just great for that finger style stuff. It's a beautiful, beautiful sounding yeah. guitar. But you can also hit it with a flat pick. What was it that Mark used to say? <laughs> Hold that Nisi bang on it real hard test. <laughs> well, I guess we'll do that. This Let's is what go. it sounds like when you hit it. Um, again, these jumbo guitars, they just have this really great sound where they're not too boomy, but they're also not too tiny sounding. This size is kind of perfect in my opinion, because it's right in the middle and you can get so much range out of it. So here we go. Let's hit it with a flat pick. Really great, man. <laughs> Such a great guitar. Um, you can find it right here at Norman's Rare Guitars online. We're on Reverb. We are on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. And we have a website all over the internet. We're all over that place. Um, so check this guitar out and all the other guitars online. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Bye. That was awesome. Cool. This one sounds really good. Really good.